What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Rabbit here. And today I'm coming at you with another Ironfish video on how to mine to Flexpool utilizing BZ Miner. Now I do wanna give a big shout out to both Flexpool and BZ Miner for sponsoring this video. So Ironfish is still currently in testnet and will be dropping to mainnet on April 20th unless a delay happens. Hopefully it doesn't happen this time, but Flexpool is actually paying you guys to help test their pool early. So let's have a look here. To encourage testing of our Ironfish pool while it is in testnet phase and allow us to stress test our software prior to the official mainnet launch, we are announcing a 5,000 USD airdrop to all users who help us in testing our Ironfish pool on the testnet. For the next three days, now probably only two days at the time of releasing here, I'm a little late, uh, the rewards will be weighted, meaning the more hash rate you bring during the test net, the more you will get. Effective starting to today, April 17th, 16 UTC, 4 p.m. UTC. The reward schedule is as follows. Day one, 1,000 USD. Day two will be 1,500. And day three will be $2,500. Rewards will be distributed in iron, the native currency of Ironfish, shortly after it's tradable. Be sure to save the wallet keys you are using on the testnet. You will need them to receive the rewards on the mainnet. Assuming the current hash rate of 250 gigahash, a single RTX 3080 would earn $125 through these three days, subject to decline with the pool hash rate growing. Hurry up as there is not much time left until the mainnet launch. Now here's an update at the bottom. This is escalating quickly. At the current hash rate of four terahash, a single RTX 3080 would be earning five USD per day from this test set. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen live. We don't know what's gonna happen when mainnet does go live, but currently it's looking like about five bucks per 3080. That's not too bad. Now, BZ Miner is also supposed to be having an updated miner with some improved hash rates and efficiencies. I have the early alpha version. I am going to test this versus Regal Miner as well as SRB Miner to see how they perform on a 3070 and go from there. It might be released at the time of the release of this video or it might be coming sometime within the next day or two. We'll see what happens. He is trying to put a rush on it, but we're gonna test this out early. All right, so we're gonna start with Windows here and how to set up BZ Miner with overclock settings within your bat file and point it towards Flexpool. I'm assuming everyone has a wallet already. I've done multiple node videos and stuff in the past. Check one of them out if you still need your wallet. There is a GUI wallet that is coming very soon and it's gonna be a lot easier for most people. Regardless, here we are on Flexpool, and all we really need out of this page here in their get started is the address we got to point our rig to, and here it is, iron.fpmp.net semicolon quadruple eight. So that's all we need in this case. Let's jump into our miner bat file for BZ and show you where to put everything. So once you do download BZ Miner, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come on to bzminer.exe. We're gonna to wanna to run this as an administrator because we're gonna be using overclocking settings within the miner bat file for this. So we're gonna go down into properties here, compatibility, click this check mark, run this program as admin, hit apply, and then okay. That way, every time you run your bat file, it will ask for administrator purposes, and then you don't forget about it and blow something up. All right, so here is our bat file, and by default, this is pretty much what everything looks like. I do have my parameters down here that I'm gonna use for my GPU, but off the get-go, it's gonna start mining to hero miner. So you're gonna wanna come up here and put two semicolons, like so, that's gonna remove that and bypass it and skip it to the next one without the semicolon. So now we wanna go down to this BZ miner and get rid of them. So now it's enabling everything you put down here. Now you can still just use this one and then just adjust everything to your own pool. I like to keep everything individual pools so you know what's going on and you can just select whatever you want. If you wanna swap pools, you can simply just copy everything and paste in a new one and just name it flex pool or something. If that's something you wanna do as well, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but we're just gonna go with this way right now. So we got BZ miners already here by default, Ironfish. Here we gotta put in our worker address. So this is your Ironfish address by default. It's just four zeros. I already have it in. Then you're gonna to wanna to put a period here and then whatever worker name you want. In my case, I just went with Rabbit WS for my workstation. And then you're gonna to wanna to adjust this to what we just found on Flexpool. So the stratum to mine to, we are going iron.fpmp.net semicolon quadruple eight. 
And then we got to add our overclock settings. So again, I will have these down in the description below so that you can just copy them over and use them as you want. But I am locking my core clock to 1305. I am OC in my core clock offset to 300. So I'm setting a core offset of 300 beyond the 1305 lock. This drops your voltage at that point. And then we're going to OC lock our memory here at 810. So that's pretty much it. Once you are done that, you're just gonna wanna obviously save it. You wanna hit that save button, hit the X button, and then bring up your actual minor config again, double click on it, and it will say, yeah, do you wanna run as admin? Because we already told it to ask every single time. Close the back one out, and there we are. It'll now begin mining to flex pool with your overclock settings. I'll even bring up my actual afterburner here and you can see that we have 810 on the memory and 1305 locked in that core clock so now you should be good to go in windows let's jump on over to hive os all right so now we're jumping into hive os and i'm going to show you how to set this up so here's a pretend to be a fresh flight sheet click on flight sheet we're going to set up our coin so simply click on it i already got iron there but you're going to want to look for iron It'll pop up. There it is. Now, if a wallet, if you don't have your wallet in here, just simply click on add wallet. It'll have iron already selected. Paste in your address, name it, whatever you want. Hit create. You're good to go. I already have a few wallets, so I'm going with node box. We got to pick our pool. Flex pool is in here by default. There's only one option so far. As mainnet comes in and different stratums emerge, there'll probably be more options, but always pick the closest for you. Right now, worldwide, I'm assuming it just picks the closest stratum that's already for you. And then obviously for our miner, we're going to pick BZ miner. We're gonna move into our setup miner config. Everything should be here by default, but if not, just look for these parameters. So our hash algorithm does need to say ironfish in BZ miner. Our wallet template again will be wallet.worker name. If you don't know how to get that in there, I'll just get rid of it and show you. So we got wallet. We're going to put in our period and then just put in our worker name by clicking there. And now it's going to pull your wallet address as well as use your rig worker name that you have set up in Hive OS. I'm going to leave this blank, password blank. Here's your URL for your pool. If that is not here, it's another simple process. Simply just click on it like so, and that will pop up. Here is the overclock settings in Hive OS. Now, if you watch the Windows guide, you can see a few things different here. Here we have quotation marks and a semicolon here, so that end brackets actually around our overclock settings. So this is a little different than Windows, but this is more of the Linux format you have to use. But regardless, we got the exact same parameters in. Here's our locked core clock, 1305. Here's our core clock offset to drop the voltage down a bit, 300, and our memory lock of 810. Again, I will have these down in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it in to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Once that's done, obviously hit apply changes, and then name your flight sheet. You don't wanna to have to redo this if you already have. So once you're all done that, hit the update or create button depending what you're doing with your flight sheet, and you should be all good. Cancel that out, hit the rocket ship next to the flight sheet, and you are now mining Ironfish to Flexpool in Hive OS. Let's take a look at some miner testing and see which miner is the best for Ironfish. So I'm gonna do some miner testing just so everyone is aware of my overclock settings. So they're exactly the same. I'm gonna be going with the efficiency overclock usage on hashrate.no. So a core clock offset of 300, we're locking the core at 1305 and the memory will be locked at 810 between all the miners. Starting off with SRB miner. So right now we can see about 2.3 giga hash in the mining software. At the wall, we are around 90 watts. My system does use 22 watts. So we are using about 68 watts. Now for a giga hash to watt ratio, that does come out to be 0.0338 giga hashes per watt of power used. Okay, so now we're checking out Regal Miner, and here we have about 2.311 giga hash, which is a little more than what SRB Miner was showing us. We're doing about 85 watts at the wall, subtract our system, that's about 63 watts. So we got a little more hash rate and a little less power. That does work out to a giga hash per watt ratio of 0.0366. Now we have BZ Miner version 14.2.0B4. So in BZ Miner, 
we are doing 2.326 giga hash at the wall. It's looking about 85 watts minus our system. We're hanging out at 63 watts, which is about the same as Regal Miner. We do have a slight bit more hash rate, which does put us at a giga hash to watt ratio of 0 0.0369 for the current winner. It's not by much over Regal, but it is a winner so far. All right, guys, so you should be up and mining to Flexpool now and collecting some of that test net cash. Now, if you aren't and you still need a possible wallet, I will have linked down in the description the video to run your node to get your CLI wallet. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.